Hello, this is a demo on how to migrate your Oracle database to Exadata database service on dedicated infrastructure on Oracle database at Azure. This demo will use Oracle's zero downtime migration physical online methodology. Here, you can see an illustration of the architecture used for this demo. On the left, you can see your data center where your application is connected to your source on-premises Oracle database. There is also a server where ZDM is running. On the right side, you can see the Azure data center where the target database is located. In the middle, you can see all the required connectivity. In this demo, we will be showcasing ZDM's physical online methodology with direct data transfer. In a typical migration, the first step is to download and configure ZDM, then provision a placeholder database at the target level, ensure that there's connectivity between every single component and that every prerequisite is met, and then fill the ZDM response file with all the parameters needed for the migration. For the purpose of this demo, we have already configured ZDM. So we're gonna go directly to the Azure portal, Oracle Database at Azure, the Exadata Database at Azure, specifically the VM cluster, and go to the one we're gonna be using that will take us to the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Portal. For privacy purposes, we're blurring out certain details of the database we are provisioning. One of the requirements of ZDM is to create a placeholder database on the target side. And you can see here how we are doing this, providing all the required details such as name, credentials, etc. In this demo, we'll be working with three screens. On the left, you can see the ZDM server. On the top right, your source database on-premises, and on the bottom right, the target database at Oracle Database at Azure. Before starting the migration process, we're going to connect to the source database on-premises. Notice that the source version is 1919. All seems to be in place. We're going to connect to the target database at Azure as well. The target patch level is 1922. ZDM can handle this discrepancy because it will run data patch automatically prior to finishing the migration. In the ZDM server, we're gonna check first the response file that has all the parameters for the migration. This is a quite a simple one. Physical migration is actually quite simple. And then we're gonna check the ZDM CLI migrate database command with all the different arguments and evaluation because we're gonna run it first as a dry run to check that everything is in place. When we run the ZDM CLI migrate database command with the eval flag or in evaluation mode, it will still ask all the authentication parameters required and all the details because of course, it's gonna to connect to the source, target, etc., to ensure that everything is in place and we can run an actual migration. We will now proceed to query the evaluation job to check that it's going fine and all the phases succeed. As you can notice, all the different pre-checks that ZDM is conducting are succeeding. When finally it's successful, we can then go ahead and run the actual migration. So this slide here represents what was gonna happen. The moment you issue the ZDM CLI migrate database command without the eval flag, we will actually perform the migration. So the first step is of course to go to the source, target, and check that everything is fine. And then of course, everything that happens after is completely done automated and by ZDM. Once the migration starts, ZDM will perform different tasks, such as connecting to the source, target, getting both ready, validating that everything is in place, performing a proper discovery, copying files, and then proceed to restore the target database. ZDM will then proceed to perform a restore from service operation at the target level. Remember that everything done here is automated and done by ZDM. This restore from service, of course, allows ZDM to instantiate a target database in the cloud that it's TD enabled. This is crucial because this database will become the standby in a data card configuration that ZDM will configure in the following steps. ZDM creates a data card relationship automatically. 
It uses the source database as a primary database and the target database as a standby. It can be done with regular data guard or ZDM can leverage data card broker if you indicate for it to do so. Now, ZDM will check that everything is in place and synchronization happens between the primary and the standby database. You could pause the migration here if you want to or continue. Of course, for this demo, we configure it so that the migration will be paused once the data guard was configured and we actually had synchronization between primary and standby. You can see on the top right that the source database is a primary database and you can see on the bottom right that the target database is configured as a physical standby. It's important to bear in mind that a pause migration job doesn't mean that there's nothing happening. ZDM is just waiting, but the primary standby relationship is still in play and synchronization is still happening while you have an active workload on the source database. We now proceed to resume the migration job. This means there are no more pauses in place and the migration will continue until finishing. But of course, first we need to take care of the switchover process. Once the migration continues and synchronization has taken place, ZDM will automatically perform a switchover of the application to the target. This also implies that a role swap needs to take place. So ZDM will take care of having now the target database being the primary database and the source database becoming the standby. So you'll have your application pointing to the new database in the cloud as a primary and a standby on premises. After performing the switchover and the role swap, ZDM will perform post-migration validations. This means validating the target database, finishing anything related to the data card configuration, and of course, executing data patch. As mentioned before, this is done automatically by ZDM to handle any patch level discrepancy. You can turn this off, if desired, via response file parameter. ZDM's post-migration validation process is now finalized. The last step is for ZDM to do a cleanup of all unneeded components and logs temporarily created, leaving you with a fully migrated database in the cloud. Once the migration is completed, we can check in the bottom right that the target database is now a primary database and your application is pointing to it, leveraging the power that Oracle provides as an Oracle database at Azure. For more information and resources, please visit Oracle Database at Azure and Oracle ZDM's product website. Thank you so much.